Okay. Fiddle it with the beetle. As you, as you methodically twist the cold grey passage of the dodecahedra, a strange sensation forms at the base of your skull. Your hands seem to move of their own core, turning the object and spinning it facets with mechanical precision. You've done this before, you knew the combinations once, and you also become aware that there's a certain danger within the object. Whether it's from simple traps or something less mundane, though you cannot recall. In moments you have what might be the first four sides locked into their proper places. As you begin to twist the fifth side to the, of the dodecahedron, you recall a cunning blade trap that would snap out to slash the meddler's hands, slashing their wrists and severing fingers. You avoid the trap with the proper number of rotations, certain that you've made progress in the unraveling of the object secret. After so avoiding the Dodecahedron's springing blades, you slowly puzzle up the next series of facet positions. As you start to turn the ninth side of the Dodecahedron, you suddenly remember a second trap, jets of toxic gas that would form a billowing cloud of lethal rosy vapor around a curious meddler. You circumvent the trap with the correct amount of twist, positive that you nearly unlocked the dodecahedron. Okay. You circumvent the dodecahedron's poisonous gas trap and begin your work on the final facet positions. Just as you lock the twelfth pent pentagon into place, you recollect sorcerer's runes hidden within the dodecahedron that would blast the unwitting holder with bolts of magical lightning. After disarming the trap with the correct number of facet rotations, the dodecahedron clicks and begins to open in your hands. The dodecahedron splits once, twice, and eventually unfolds itself impossibly into a perfectly re rectangular tablet, the size of a large book. Etched into its surface are this, a series of bizarre symbols. It looks to be a code or language that you feel should be familiar to you, but it's not. Further examination of the tab reveals that the twisting the pentagonal facets that are now upon the underside of the tablet, different pages may be displayed across the tablet face. You finally realize that the dodecahedron is a tome or journal of some sort. It's a tablet. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, I think we found a use for our linguistic. We we can't read the language. Updated my journal. Hmm. We will go visit him now. Linguistics home. Done. We need to go to the sensorium. Do though. Absolutely certainty that we have to go there. But the thing is, this is no less important. We might as well do this too. Okay, I had some questions. I unfolded Dodecahedron to, to a page with writing on it and asked if he can translate it. He takes the unfolded Dodecahedron in his hand and examines it closely. This language is a long dead one, known to virtually no one. I believe my father, a linguist like myself, knew this language, and may well have been the only man in Sigil at the time that could understand it. I recognize it from his notes, but I cannot translate. Hey, do you still have those notes? Pinan shaved his head. They'll be of no use to you if you're looking to translate anything. In the new actual books he had pertained to that language disappeared around the time of his murder. The father's murder? Finam nods. Strangled he was. He had left to tutor someone. He taught various languages to supplement his research income, and was discovered dead in a side chamber of the civic fest hall. Killer was never found. This was some, uh, perhaps fifty years ago now. I was but a child. Yeah, he knew the language so I and could teach it. Surely he did and could. 
Where he alive today, my father was said to be a great teacher. Finan sighs sadly. I've, I've his skill with language, but not his patience for others, sadly. Is he interred at the mortuary? Updated my journal. Why, oh, no, his ashes are kept here. He points to a bronze urn sitting atop the cabinet beside the bouquet of purple flowers. Why? Brian smiles across his Finan's lips. A necroscope, are you? Speak with the dead? Suddenly frowns. I have no wish to speak of those things any longer. You'll have to excuse me, sir. Farewell. Yeah. There's an urn atop of this small cabinet, full of ashes and charred bits of bone. It's into the base of the urn of words Finn and Lay. Beloved husband, father, and scholar of 100 languages. Yeah, you story spawns tale of the remains. The ashes seem to serve faintly as if moved by your breath. Far away voice whispers up from within the urn. Why? Why have been summoned to these ashes, golden and grey as the heart of a hag? To answer some questions, spirit. Ask then so that I might return to my most quiet thoughts. Okay. Describe to him the writing from the folding Dodica Hedron. Ask if he knows the language. Yes, I know that tongue. I was a linguistic young scholar, you see. I was murdered. Murdered! A student of mine murdered so that I could not teach another the language that I taught him. The language of the Uyo. It was one of the rarest in the multiverse. I knew of none who speak it. Spoke it. Save myself and that one damnable murder student. So can you help me learn this state language? I could teach you this language, yes. It would please me to do so, in fact, if only to spite that bloody-handed student of long ago. First, tell me what languages you do speak. Okay, learn what you can from the spirit. As the spirit speaks to you of the lost language, Uyo, there is a throbbing sensation in your temples as a memory begins to surface. Memories of this language, you recall letters, words, phrases, until, like a spire wind blowing away the blanket of poisonous smog or the great foundry, language is once again revealed to you in its entirety. Updated my journal. There is another memory, though, bubbling to the surface, a darker one, which presents troubles you somehow, fills you with unease and unexplained pangs of guilt. Yeah, allows it to surface. Updated my journal. At last you recall Finn Andley himself. You remember his gentle voice, his kind manner, his schooling you in the ancient language of the Uyo. You also remember those scarred, gnarled hands wrapped around his frail throat, crushing his larynx and thus ensuring that the secret contain contents of your journal, hidden and thrice draft in a dod dodecahedron's puzzle box, and penned in the obscure language of the Uyo would be forever safe from prying eyes. Hmm. Yeah, do, you do I want to then feel that I murdered his father? I don't think I do. Thanks, Finn and Will. Farewell. I don't think it's a bad thing, from even for me, but I still don't want to. I I like to get on with things. I don't whether he knows that I'm the murderer or not. It makes no difference. He didn't actually help me. But it was his father's ashes that did. All right. Okay now. Actually, I'll Done. go to rest. These are our, our troop is uh, in a bad condition. I'm gone. We have to do it anyway before we can I'm actually gone. explore a new area. So might as well do do it now. I wonder if I can just go here and rest. You must obtain right. a permission to rest in your Okata room, Alec. Nordam.
How come you never reload your crossbows? They do not require reloading. They are always ready to fire. That must be handy. May my faith lend me strength. <laughs> 